Cruising life isn't all sunsets and cocktails. It's learning to live everyday life in ever-changing countries. Since we'll be staying here on the Rio Dulce in Guatemala for about six months, we'll have a lot of time to immerse ourselves in life on the river. I've dreamt of taking off in a sailboat to cruise the world for as long as I can remember. And now that dream is coming true. Previously on Sailing Mandala, we made our way to Guatemala where we got tipped and towed across the mouth of the Rio Dulce River. We explored the remote settlements near Cayo Camado and checked into our marina where we got acquainted with the local wildlife. Our marina doesn't have road access, which makes it less susceptible to crime, and it's much quieter being away from the main highway. But we do have a little boat ride to get into town. All right, this is how cruisers get to the grocery store. La Torre is where we're going. This part of town is pretty modern with chain stores for groceries and a mega packer where you can get great deals on secondhand clothing and household items as you enjoy the free air conditioning. I like to hit the street markets first for fresh veggies where I can get a huge bag for less than $5. This is no hyper sanitized cruise ship tourist destination and I'm not going to lie, this can be a bit stressful walking so close to these large trucks but it is part of the adventure and allowed us to have authentic experiences interacting with the locals. One important lesson we learned secondhand was to stay away from the cattle trucks or you could get dumped on. A couple times a week, Casa Guatemala would come to the marina with a selection of produce, meats, and fresh baked bread. All proceeds support the organization which provides education, nutrition, and health care for vulnerable children in the area. So this morning, I'm going to try and do my yoga session and share with you what it's like here at Monkey Bay in the Palapa with the monkeys and the cats. So I wanted to get closer to nature and wildlife this is what it's like. Rio Dulce gets about 96.2 inches or 2,443 millimeters of precipitation per year. A little comparison for folks in the U.S., Seattle averages about 39 inches or 990 millimeters of precipitation per year. The lightning strikes were unusually high this season. Fortunately, we didn't get hit. It's a double rainbow! And this is the prize we get for putting up with that rain. All right, well, it's stopped raining, but the water's come up and it continues to come up. And because of the watershed, it will continue to come up even when the water or when the rain is stopped. Everyone has to adjust their lines and cables to 
because if it keeps coming up overnight, it could cover the deck. Hi, Claire. Hi, Claire. Oh, baby. But look over there. That is normally a drop a few feet from the dock there. And over here, the water is completely over the launch dock. So you'd have to wait. like when it's been raining for two weeks straight. This is the road to Latore, the grocery store. And we have to wade, wade over there. You can see the water is really high. It's not covering up the dock yet, but we're expected to get more rain in the next week. So I'm floating out here in the middle of the bay. It's beautiful. I'm just feeling really good. It's going to be a hot one, but just went to the grocery store. Check this out. This is all my stuff. You can probably hear my motor running, but I just wanted to stop here to show you what this place looks like. Again, so lovely. There's my fisherman out there. So see that little float? Today we are going to a canyon to swim and cool off. To get there we are going to take a Collectivo, which is a minivan that stops for anyone on the street and will drop you off anywhere along the route. There seems to be no end to how many people will fit into one of these things. By the time we got to our destination we had 27 people. People were hanging on the outside and small children were passed back to sit in anyone's lap. You just have to make the room. And as crazy as it all sounds, I had a blast. We piled into a cayuca and were paddled down the languid stream to a beautiful swimming hole that looked like an outdoor cave with stalactites dripping from the limestone precipice above. We also got involved with the community by volunteering for some of the local charities. Amigos de Rio Dulce rebuilds desks for the local schools and helps out many of the orphanages and children in need of medical care. Today, the kids aren't playing. They are helping the volunteers assemble the new desks. They were so enthusiastic to help out and use the power tools. In these remote parts of Guatemala, Kids often only complete a sixth grade education because high schools are far away and it may require the expense of room and board plus uniforms and books. If a child shows exceptional aptitude, they may get sponsored by a charity and sent off to continue their education. It's rainy season again in Guatemala, here on the Rio Dulce. And you can see it's just kind of dreary. It's been like this for a few days. So, oh, can you see the Novia? This is what happens when it rains all the time. Anyway, we thought we'd do something a little fun today and we're going to make some of our chocolate tea that we got down in Antigua and it's pretty cool you just boil the shells so I'm going to show you what I'm doing so here's the stuff that we bought and I was told you just take a 
two handfuls, put it in the water, and I'm going to do a little bit more. Why not? The chocolatier the better, I say. We need to sweeten it, and I have this honey, this is Guatemalan honey that I bought from a local, and we're going to put some of that in to our pan. I'm going to go with one more scoop. Okay, so here we go with cup number one. And here it is. Mm. Just the right amount of chocolate. Cheers. Well, as sweet as these little birdies are, they're making a mess on my boat. We've got this nice awning, and it makes a nice shady place. And after they're done preening themselves, they come and sit on my lifelines in the shade. Poop everywhere. It's a problem. Today, it's actually cool enough to hike up to Shaman's Tower, which overlooks the river valley. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We spent a few weeks in the boatyard getting Mandala's bottom painted and taking care of various other projects. Hanging out here at Ram, while the boat's getting work done, having our little sip and stroll, taking in the sunset. During this time, we stayed in an apartment which was nice because it had air conditioning and it was still rainy season. It also gave us a chance to live in a different part of town. Now I go to the grocery store in a tuk-tuk.
first came into the Rio Dulce um, there's a boat for a sail loft here and it's run by Chloe cool chick from France and she is currently installing our main so whoa, whoa. Climbing the mast. He's going to be putting a new topping lift on and uh, installing a new improved mainsail with a third reef. This morning, we're following some local knowledge to try and find a lake that is supposed to be down one of these canals. Today we're taking a field trip to the Castillo San Felipe de Lora, which was built in the 17th century by the Spanish to protect themselves from repeated attacks by English pirates. The fortress was a military center, prison, and customs center. So many butterflies. Look at them all cruising across. Yeah, well. Here we are at the Castle San Felipe. It's gonna be 
cool in here is the chapel and the dungeon. Not surprisingly, they kind of go together in this time period. Really creepy. This door is only like yeah. three and a half feet tall. I bet this is where you go to shit or something. <laughs> <laughs> Or this is where you go. I bet this is the bathroom. I don't know. Or the torture chamber. Or solitary confinement. <laughs> a little bit of a tight squeeze. I feel like I'm caving. So the story goes that this fort kept getting destroyed because their cannons were too small. All the ships coming down the river had bigger ones. Those are pretty small. Thank you for watching today's episode of Sailing Mandala. If you enjoyed it, please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next episode when we explore more of the country.